let us consider only these two that is your liabilities and your assets for calculation of exchange ratio based on net assets method how do you get your eps your eps is equal to profit after tax divided by number of shares equity share of rupees 10 per share is 1 lakh so 1 lakh is the value of the x company shares but it is not the number of share but it is the money 1 lakh is the amount hello everybody i am divya assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing with vyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all for today's class session 4 on your unit 4 that is merger and acquisition moving forward the topic for today's discussion problems on exchange ratio this is 10 marks problem that i am discussing with you people so this will be asked for 10 marks in your examination so in the last class we have discussed the problems based on exchange ratio calculation based on net assets method market price and your eps calculation so in today's class all the three valuation all the three calculation will be done in a single problem so that will be asked for 10 marks so keep this in mind my dear students so it is very important to understand for you all because this is asked for this will be asked for 10 marks problem number 1 x company limited wish to take over y company limited the financial details of two companies are as under so particulars x company is given y company is given the liabilities and the assets of a particular company is given in the question so let us understand equity share of rupees 10 per share so equity share of rupees 10 per share is given that is 1 lakh rupees and y company it is 50000 share premium account profit and loss account 38000 4000 preference shares 20 that is x company y company is nil and 10% debenture 15000 and 5000 so this is the total so this is a liability that is given in the question assets when we come to assets side fixed assets 1,22 35,000 current assets 51,000 26,000 so this will be what this will be your total assets this will be your total assets so when we need to calculate the exchange ratio based on your net assets valuation method so current assets the total assets which is important to know so this will be the total assets what will be the total liabilities will equity share be a liability no so share premium account no profit and loss account no so preference shares and your 10% debenture preference shares and your 10% debenture though that will be the liabilities the total of this 20000 15000 for x company y company it is 5000 so this will be the total liabilities so what are the information is given equity shares is given to calculate your eps total number of shares are required so to calculate your market price number of shares is required so at that time we will take this as of now to calculate the net assets valuation method let us consider only these two that is your liabilities and your assets for calculation of exchange ratio based on net assets method moving forward your profit after tax is given 24000 and 15600 x limited and y limited market price per equity share is directly given in the question in the previous problems in our previous class we have discussed the calculation of market price wherein your directly they have given your market price price earning ratio that is 10 and 9 you are required to calculate exchange ratio of x company limited based on net assets valuation method eps methods and market price moving forward so as i have told you my dear students first what we need to calculate we need to calculate your exchange ratio based on net assets valuation method what's the formula exchange ratio is equal to target company net assets divided by acquirer company net assets your target company net assets how do you get your net assets total assets minus total liabilities so your total assets 
total liabilities. So if you are adding it, we, are, we have got the assets and liabilities answer of X limited and Y limited. So net assets of X limited 1 lakh 38,000 and Y limited it is how much? 56,000. Moving forward, we are substituting the values to the formula and the exchange ratio we got is 0 0.40. Similarly, next we need to calculate the exchange ratio based on EPS that is your earnings per share. Target company's EPS divided by acquired company EPS. EPS is equal to profit after tax divided by number of shares. Profit after tax. 24,000 and 15,600, the number of shares. How do you get this number of shares? Equity share of rupees 10 per share is 1 lakh. So, 1 lakh is the value of the X company shares, but it is not the number of share, but it is the money. 1 lakh is the amount. So, 1 lakh divided by 10, it will be 10,000. So, 10,000 equity shares X companies and 5,000 equity shares of Y company. So, we are taking that 10,000 and 5,000. The answer we got is 3 divided by 2.4. Exchange ratio you get is 1.25. If you substitute this answer to the formula, you will get your exchange ratio as 1.25. Similarly, we need to calculate the market price. Market price is equal to your EPS price to earning into EPS. So, target company market price and acquired company market price directly they have given. Since in the question directly they have given the target company and your acquirer company market price. So, target company 27, acquirer company 24. So, 27 divided by 24, the exchange ratio will be how much? 1.125. So, this is how you calculate your exchange ratio based on net assets method, based on the calculation of your EPS. Next, you will calculate the market price. So, for exchange ratio, all the formulas for each valuation, it is different. So, for net assets valuation, exchange ratio is equal to target company net assets divided by the acquirer company net assets. So, how do you get your net assets? Total assets minus total liabilities. Next, similarly with the answer, if you substitute to the exchange ratio formula, you will get your answer. Next, uh, to calculate your EPS, what is the formula? Exchange ratio is equal to target company EPS divided by acquirer company EPS. So, how do you get your EPS? Your EPS is equal to profit after tax divided by number of shares. Similarly, for market price, in the question, market price is directly given. In this case, directly they have given. So, you have taken the uh, answers directly and you have put into the formula. But in many cases, they are not, they'll not give you all direct market price. So, you need to calculate the market price. What is the formula? Price to earning ratio into your EPS. If you substitute that, you will get your market price. So, directly since they have given, what is the formula? Exchange ratio is equal to target company market price divided by acquirer company market price. So, this is your 10 marks problem for your examination. Moving forward, similarly for your better clarity on the problems, I have taken up one more problem. So, kindly understand the questions and then attempt for an answer. ABC company is going to acquire XYZ company. As I have told you, my dear students, in the question itself, they'll give you which company is acquiring which company, XYZ company or ABC company, which is merging with which company. That information will be furnished in your question itself. No need to get confusions in your examination. Moving forward, the following are the details of the companies. This is ABC company, XYZ company. So, ABC company is acquiring what? XYZ company. So, XYZ company becomes what? Target company. So, what is this? It is a target company. So, equity share of rupees 100 is the value is 25 lakh rupees, 20 lakh rupees. So, while calculating the number of shares, what you need to do because this is the amount given in the question, but you need to calculate the number of shares. How do you calculate the number of shares? 25 lakh divided by 100. 
20 lakh divided by 100. If you get, you will get your total number of shares of particular company. Preference shares is given, equity share, preference shares, 12% debenture, creditor, bills payable, debtor, fixed assets and current assets. So, debtor, fixed assets and current assets, all this comes to the assets, this comes to the preference share, 12% debentures, creditors and bills payable comes to your liability. So, this is your assets and this is, this is your assets and this is your liability. Moving forward, profit after tax is given 50,000 and 30,000. Market price in this case also directly they have given. So, you need to calculate the exchange ratio based on net assets valuation method, EPS method and market price. Calculation of exchange ratio using net assets valuation method. Net assets is equal to total assets minus total liabilities. So, what are assets? As I have told you, fixed assets, current assets and debt are totally we have taken. This is total assets. Liabilities, preference share, debenture, creditors and bills payable as I have told you. So, this is the total of that. If you subtract total assets minus your total liabilities, then you get your 25 lakh and 20 lakh as your net assets. So, which is a target company, my dear students? 20 lakh is a target company's net assets divided by acquirer company net assets that is 25 lakh. So, 20 lakh divided by 20 lakh, your exchange ratio is how much? 0 0.8. Similarly, we need to calculate the EPS. How to calculate the EPS? Profit after tax divided by number of shares. What is profit after tax? 50,000 and 30,000. We have taken 50,000 and 30,000. What is the number of shares? Number of shares is equity share. That is your 25 lakh divided by 100 and 20 lakh divided by 100. So, it will be 25,000 and 20 thousand, 25,000 and 20,000. How did you get? This is value, amount is given. 25 lakh is the amount given. 25 lakh divided by 100, that is number of shares, you will get it. 25,000 and 20,000 will be your ABC company and XYZ companies EPS. So, with this value, if you substitute this, you will get your EPS. 0.75 is the exchange ratio calculation based on EPS. Similarly, we are calculating for market price, target company market price or acquire company market price. Yes, it is given in the question itself. Market price directly 2015. So, 15 divided by 20, 0.75 will be the answer. In case if your market price is directly not given in the question, you need to calculate the market price. Your formula will be price to earning ratio into EPS. So, you need to calculate that. Since they have given in the question directly, we have taken it directly. So, that's it for 10 marks. I'll just move out of the screen, my dear students. Both the problem is very important because in both the problem, they have taught you all how to calculate your net assets valuation method, EPS calculation as well as your market price calculation. So, in the previous slides, in the previous uh, sessions, we have discussed about the individual problem, how to calculate market price, how to calculate net assets method. In today's class, totally in one single problem only, we have discussed all the three methods which will be asked for 10 marks in your examination. So, I'll just move out of the screen, kindly take up the screenshot. Problem 1. Problem 2. That's it my dear students. Stay fit, stay healthy. Thank you so much for joining today's session. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear, people. Keep smiling. Thank you.